Hello, this day is December 10th, um, which makes it day 68, uh, and 22 days left to go. And um, got a pastry today, another scone, which I'm realizing I think was a cop out, because I just didn't want to eat a butter croissant, because that seemed so much harder um, than eating a scone. Also, the scone like gave me more of a satisfaction of being full, um, which I had a hard time yesterday just eating the croissant. It felt like extra indulgent and not not actually really satiating, which it doesn't. I don't. I guess that's the volume of it is different. Um, and yeah, but I did it, and it wasn't so hard. Even though it was like kind of frantic, and I didn't have my. I drank my water, but I didn't have time to go and walk afterwards, and kind of set myself up for success, but. Um, tomorrow will be my last day of the exposure therapy and I'll be talking with my dietitian and I am glad I did it and it's like I didn't really have the really difficult moments so I think tomorrow I need to like eat an almond croissant and really try for it um, and try try the, to kind of face the, the beast. Um, um, yeah, I feel a little like uh, today uh, because I love when my family asks me questions about how I'm doing, but I also have a hard time with it. Um, of course, like we all do. Um, I, you know, it is good and I, and I like try to be receptive and I feel like every time I like, they ask me about it I, and somehow it's like, I'm getting defensive about it because it's, and you know, cause it's usually they only ask not when I'm binge eating and when I'm having, you know, bulimic tendencies, which is usually when I'm doing the worst, but it's like this triggering thing of like, nobody actually asks when you have more weight on you and you could be doing worse and you could be like, you know, binging and purging all day long in this cycle. But yeah, because you, you seem like curvy or no one brings it up. Nobody asks you about your eating disorder when you're, on the curvier side of the eating disorder. And that is so frustrating because that has been the thing that has been most prevalent in my life and the hardest thing for me to man manage and the most sabotaging. Like I might be getting a little thin, but I've never got so thin where like binge purging is like I'm doing actual critical damage to my body and it, nobody fucking cares. <laughs> and so, yeah, I guess I just get a little bit mad and I haven't really expressed that because it's hard for people to know when you're binge purging. Like it's hard, you look, you do look normal and they don't know and they, it's really much more of a mood thing and the depression, anxiety issue, they only bring it up when they say I look thin and then I have a hard time when my family says I look thin because it's like, you know, my people in my family have had a hard time with their own body image. So then I feel like it is a bit of projection of like, yeah, you're too thin, so you must be having a hard time. I'm like, well, I, I'm, an, I also run a lot, and like, yeah, I'm on the thinner side, but I am eating three meals a day and like doing it pretty consistently, and I'm not hyper focusing on being healthy, and I can spontaneously eat. I can eat cookies today. I ate a pastry today. You know, I ate both things today, and I'm gonna eat, you know, dinner tonight. And you know, it's nice. It's nice to feel like I can be fit and like strong um, and be eating and be nourishing my body and be in recovery and be in recovery group and have these journals and like I've been working so hard and I am so proud of myself and you know I th think they see that and they're proud of me too and they're just they believe and I that they're doing their dil due diligence to check in it just gets frustrating sometimes when it's like it always just gets asked because I'm too like I'm on the leader side and that I think I just it's just so frustrating because I'm like you don't ask when when I'm not and oftentimes that's when I'm doing the worst and I wish you would have asked then or I'll I'll try to reach out and you don't see it then and and then sometimes I just feel like nobody trusts me to take care of myself and everybody just thinks I'm a fuck up because I can't even eat or I can't yeah, keep weight on myself. I can't even manage my eating disorder. I'm 31. It's like, what are they going to tell me next? Like, don't be, don't date this person. And, you know, I don't know. It still feels a little bit confusing. Like, people think I'm so competent in some areas of my life. And in and, and other areas, I just feel like the total screw up. 
and it's hard to manage both of those feelings. 